Intuition is often overlooked in discussions, yet it holds great importance for manifestation. Many who study Neville Goddard's teachings and understand the law of assumption still struggle with the true meaning of intuition. Some confuse it with the sixth sense or consider it a warning signal, but that's not the accurate definition. While some in the manifesting community possess strong intuition, they don't fully grasp its concept. Contrary to popular belief, intuition doesn't prevent negative outcomes. Even if you heed intuitive warnings and avoid certain actions, you'll still manifest what you've imagined. In reality, intuition serves a different purpose and isn't primarily negative. To understand intuition, we must explore what it is not. The law of assumption asserts that there is no external divine force sending signals to guide us. Intuition is not a divine intervention, nor does it direct us towards manifesting desires. It is a tool, a feeling, and a knowing of a future state that hasn't yet materialized in the physical world. Intuition is the result of our imaginations, where our imaginings eventually become real. Regardless of whether intuition is positive or negative, it strongly influences manifestation. Now that we comprehend its true nature, we can consciously use intuition to recognize our regular imaginations, both positive and negative, and bring them to life. Initially, I believed intuition was meant to protect me from negative experiences, but it didn't work out that way. I had a misconception about intuition being a warning signal. When the things I tried to prevent still occurred, I realized intuition was different. Reflecting on my past, I recall a powerful intuitive moment before discovering the law of assumption. Unbeknownst to me, it was simply my inner voice affirming that my persistent imaginings were coming to fruition. If only I had understood, I might have been able to alter the outcome. This realization shattered my belief in external warnings of misfortune. Living in alignment with the end result of our desires brings a distinct feeling of certainty, despite it not yet manifesting in the physical realm. This is what people refer to as instinct. Don't let your so-called intuition misguide you. It doesn't originate from an external source, nor is it solely a warning. I no longer experience such intuitions because I comprehend their true nature. Intuition is not a cautionary message, so blindly following it may lead to manifesting unwanted outcomes. Angels showing specific numbers in dreams or life as messages, as some adherents of the law of attraction believe, is not how intuition works. Intuition is a powerful tool that can help us navigate through life and make informed decisions. Some believe that intuition is a divine message sent by a higher power, but in the law of assumption, there is a different perspective. According to this concept, there is no external God or angel guiding us. Instead, we are taught that we are gods ourselves. We are everything, and without our existence, nothing would exist. The law of assumption teaches us that our consciousness plays a significant role in shaping our reality. Everything we see and experience in this world is a result of our consciousness. We manifest things, observe things, and take action because of our conscious awareness. It is important to understand that intuition does not necessarily come from an external source. When we have a gut feeling or intuition about something, it is not a message from God. It originates from within ourselves. As creators of our reality, we trigger these intuitions based on something we have done or thought. Intuition arises because we have entered a state where we are open to receiving these intuitive messages. Having intuition does not automatically mean that it is a message from a divine entity that we must follow. As mentioned earlier, intuition is influenced by our conscious and unconscious thoughts. Therefore, it is essential to examine what we have been thinking, whether consciously or unconsciously. Sometimes, people manifest negative or unwanted things in their lives because of unconscious thoughts. So, we need to be cautious when interpreting our intuitions. To make the best use of our intuition, we must understand what it is telling us. If it aligns with our desires and makes sense, we can follow it. However, if it contradicts our desires, it is likely influenced by limiting beliefs within our minds. To receive positive and guiding intuitions, 
we must take control of our thoughts and focus on aligning them with our desires. Contrary to popular belief, intuition is not always helpful, and blindly following it can sometimes lead to undesirable outcomes. Intuition can be good or bad, depending on the thoughts and beliefs that give rise to it. Hence, it is crucial to exercise discernment and only follow intuitions that support our desires. To ensure our intuition serves us positively, we must take charge of our thoughts and imagination. If we find ourselves receiving incorrect intuitions, it indicates the presence of negative thoughts residing in our subconscious. In such cases, it is crucial not to follow those intuitions. Instead, we need to focus on changing our thoughts to avoid manifesting negative outcomes. Being aware of our thoughts and imagination is essential. We must stay conscious and actively control our minds. Our intuitions and unconscious thoughts should not dictate our lives and shape our reality without our permission. Always remember that you are the only God, the only one in the entire universe. Without your existence, the universe would have no meaning. You can see and observe things because of your consciousness. Your intuition is a reflection of your unconscious thoughts, and your consciousness is bringing those thoughts to your attention. So, if your intuition reveals negative thoughts, take action to transform them. It is important to understand that whatever we think, consciously or unconsciously, becomes our true reality. The next time you experience intuition, review your memories and evaluate what you have been visualizing in relation to the subject of your intuition. Doing so will unveil the mysteries and reveal that your current experience is a result of your imagination becoming real in your 3D world. You have the power to shape it as you desire, living in fulfillment of your wishes, rather than being guided solely by intuition. Intuition is not meant to guide or warn you, it is meant to reveal what is happening deep within your mind. Being conscious of your intuition is crucial, as it allows you to avoid unknowingly manifesting undesirable realities. In conclusion, understanding the concept of intuition in the context of the law of assumption provides us with insights into our creative power. While analyzing and discussing Neville Goddard's ideas and methods, it is important to note that we don't necessarily have to agree with everything he said. Each individual forms their own opinions. However, his teachings have inspired millions of people worldwide. We invite you to join the conversation and share your valuable opinions and thoughts in the comments section below this video. Your input is highly appreciated and contributes to building a community of like-minded individuals who are exploring the fascinating world of manifestation. If you haven't done so already, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest content, ensuring that you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload new and engaging videos on manifestation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for being a part of our community. We genuinely value your support and look forward to continuing this journey together. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll delve deeper into various aspects of manifestation. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.